Okay, last time we talked about how Newton's method works in general. Now we're going to use it to compute the square root of 2. So suppose you lived in the Dark Ages, like 1970 or so, before, he, before calculators were common. And somebody said, okay, I need you to tell me what the square root of 2 is to 10 decimal places, and you can only do it by hand. Now, if you had no calculus, this is actually not nearly that bad a problem. It may sound tough, but you can do it in about five minutes. So let's see. What we're looking for is places a value of x for which x squared is 2. In other words, x squared minus 2 is 0. So that's our function f of x. And the derivative of that is just 2x. And we set up the table like we talked about last time. Let's take as our first guess something really rough. We're going to guess x equals 1. That's not all that close to the square root of 2, but it's a good enough starting point. Well, then f of x is 1 squared minus 2. That's negative 1. And f prime of x is 2. And our new and improved guess is going to be 1 minus negative 1 over 2. So that's 3 halves. So that's 1.5. OK. That does a little bit better. We try 3 halves. And we say, OK, f of x 3 halves squared is 9 fourths minus 2 leaves 1 fourth. f prime is twice 3 halves, that's 3. And so we want 3, ha three halves minus 1 quarter divided by 3. That winds up being 17 twelfths. Okay. Let's keep going. 17 twelfths. If you square that, you get 289 over 144, which is 2 and 1 144th. So we're getting pretty good. F prime is 17 sixths. And now we wind up getting 17 twelfths minus 1 144th divided by 17 sixths. And the arithmetic gets a little bit ugly. You can do it. The answer turns out to be 577 over 408. And yes, I did this all by hand, without a calculator. If you plug in 577 over 408, you square that, you subtract 2, and you wind up getting 1 out of 166,464. The derivative if 507 over 204. And you take the difference, and it winds up being 665,857 divided by 4, 470,832. OK, it takes a little while to, to crank that out. But now we've got something that is actually good, good really accurate. If we do this in decimals, this is 1.5. Our next guess was 1.41666. That's good to two decimal places. The square root of 2 is actually closer to 1.414. So the first two decimal places are good. The third one's not so good. This one turns out to be 1.4142156 and so on. That's good to one, two, three, four, five decimals. This five is a little bit off. This winds up being 1.414213562376, and so on. All these decimal places are right. It's wrong in the 11th decimal place. So Newton's method gives you really accurate answers and in fact, if you're wondering how does your calculator actually compute the square root of 2, this is how it does it. It uses an algorithm that's equivalent to Newton's method, and it zooms in on this number. Okay, next time we'll co come to the modern age, assume that you do have a calculator, and we'll solve a problem that you can't directly solve on a calculator, but that you can solve with Newton's method.